Hello everyone and welcome back. In the previous video, we have seen how to do a VLOOKUP or how to merge queries from the same Excel file. But in this video, I'll go a little bit advanced. I'll show you how to do a VLOOKUP from different Excel files or I can say in terms of in language of Power Query, I can say merge queries or merge tables from two different Excel files. Now, let us see an example. On the right, if you see, I have one table that's a lookup table. If you see sales rep and region, and on the right, if you see, I have a sales table where all the transactions are being occurred and the data has been fed here. Now, what I want is I want to combine these two tables or I want to merge these two tables so that, that I can get the answer as region wise sales. You see, that's a sales on this right hand side and the region is given in this column here. Now, I want to get this output in a completely fresh new Excel file. How do I do that? Let us see that. Before going to that topic here, if you see the name of this Excel table, if I keep my cursor, go to design and you can see name of this Excel table is lookup table and name of this Excel table, if you see that's a sales table. So these are two tables in two different files. I'll create a new file and try to bring this both tables into that power query in the new Excel file. So how to do that? First of all, I'll create a new file, file menu bar, new and I'll click on blank workbook. So this is a completely blank workbook. Now I'll just click on this data, new query from file and from workbook. Earlier in the previous video, we have just picked up the data from a table within the workbook. Now this has changed. I'm trying to pull a data from different workbooks. So click on from workbook and pick up that one file, the first file, the first file I have that is sales Excel file. So I'll just select that sales Excel file and click on import. Now, once I click on import, it will ask me, what do you want to fetch? Do you want to fetch sheets or tables? So right now, if you see the blue color icon, that is a table and the below one is a sheet icon. Definitely, I'll pick up this sales table and then I'll just click on load as a connection. I'll not load only. I'll just click on this load drop down and there are two options, load and load to. If I select load option, it will directly bring as a table. Unnecessary file size will increase. So better I'll select the second option, load to then it will give me some choices. The first choice it will say, bring as it is the entire table and second one only create connection. So connection is just creating a connection with that particular data or table. Now I can just click on load. So what will happen is nothing will happen here, but on the right hand side, if you see, there's a queries, that's a sales table connection only. Now this table has been converted into query. Okay, so I'll repeat the same process for the lookup table. Data, new query from workbook, and I have the file in some folder, lookup file and I'll click on import. Now the same thing, it will ask me, do you want to import a table or a sheet? Remember the blue color heading that is a table and the below one is a sheet. Definitely I'll pick up this lookup table and the same thing, I'll just click on this load and load to. Now what happens if you click on edit? If you click on edit, it will open Power Query Editor window where you can format the text size, data type, anything you can change there. But right now, this is a very clean data. I don't have to format anything. I'll just click on this button and load to and select the option only create connection and click on load. So on the right hand side, if you see, these are two different queries which I have from two different files. Now the last thing, I just want to merge these two different queries. So data tab, new query, and I have the option as combine queries and you see merge, append or launch a new query editor. So definitely I'll select the option as merge because instead of using VLOOKUP, we use merge queries in Power Query. Now from the top, always try to select a transactional table where multiple data occurs. From the below, try to pick up a lookup table where there are unique values. So in this lookup table, I have unique values. Here there are multiple values repeated. Now, if you see the OK button is disabled, in order to create a relationship between them, I have to select the common column that is a sales rep and sales rep. You see, OK button is enabled. At the bottom, something is given here. The selection has matched 542 out of the first 1873 rows. That means matching is properly done here. Now, I obviously want the entire sales table and only matching records from this sales rep table or lookup table here. So you see, there are many options, join kind. So definitely, if I select the option, there are five, six options which are given. I'll go for the first one, which says left outer. That means all records from the first table and only matching because there might be some sales rep who have not done the sales. So definitely, I don't want them. I just want the matching records. So I'll select the option and click on OK. Observe here, there are four columns. The fifth column will be brought here. 
okay fifth column would be brought here once i click on okay so this lookup table will come here when i click on okay and now if you see there are four columns and the fifth column the entire table has been compressed and it is brought in the fifth place so what i can do is i can select the option from here remember using vlookup you will only get us one column but using this merge query you can pick up as many column as you want right now we have only two options i don't want a prefix we have done in the previous video and out of this two i already have a sales rep so i'll not pick up the sales rep column i'll just pick up a region column i'll click on okay and you see there's a region column which is inserted so we look up is done properly just using button clicks no using keyboard no using formula now i think region column should be kept here before this place and uh, suppose you don't want some columns they are unwanted columns you can simply right click on that column heading let's say i don't want date right click on the column heading you can click on remove button and whatever columns you need you can just keep it that okay and finally this output i want in the form of a table so i'll just click on close and load to there are two options if i select the second option close and load to definitely i don't want as a creation or connection i just want this as a table entire table so once i click on okay this will create a new table here with that output now the beauty of this power query is anything changes in the previous two files that two files excel files definitely you can see the changes here let us see that practically so i'll minimize this window or i'll just double click here carefully observe baron is having a lincoln car make in east region so what i'll do is i'll change the region for baron as west let's see what happens okay you see that's a baron east region i'll type here as west and i'll save this make sure you save this and now i'll open the other file which is at the back end okay so that's a file you see baron lincoln and east what i'll do is i'll refresh this it should change to west when i click on refresh you see it has changed to west so anything changes in the source file definitely the target will change depends you have to just refresh the data here now one thing should be noted here suppose this file if i change the location that's a target file if i change the location of this target file not a problem but you should not change the you know the location of those two source file if you try to change and keep it somewhere it will not work i'll tell you the reason here suppose this is the sales table if i just double click and open in the power query editor you see the first step is given as source okay first step is given as source now in the formula bar you see that's a formula bar in case if you're not able to see the formula bar you have to click on view menu bar and there's a formula bar in the formula bar carefully observe it says excel workbook file contains this is the path of my source file see users tutorial point dot com desktop final output suppose if i send you this file it will not work definitely not because this path you don't have okay so what you need to do is if you are sending this file to someone else okay or if you are changing the path make sure you click on this settings button and change the path in this location okay only then it will work okay so there are some things which you need to take care i'll click on cancel and i'll click on close button and save okay so i hope you have understood how to combine uh, different tables or how to merge different queries or how to use vlookup from two different excel files that's all for this video